Hello everybody, it's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, a very special episode. We're diving into probably the best rye I've ever had. There it is, 13th Colony Cast Strength Single Barrel Store Pick. So buckle up for safety and grab the fire extinguisher, because tonight we're diving into high proof, high aged rye. So big shout out to a lot of people uh, that made this one here possible. The first shout out goes to Tyler B. from the great state of Tennessee. So I happened to be on a live stream of the mashing journey, and I saw Jason, if you watch that channel, go check it out. Uh, drinking one of these fine looking 13th Colony cash drinks. They're pretty rare, in case you don't know. And I said, oh, is that the one that Sealbox released a little bit ago? And Tyler commented, no, no, no. Elixir, Wine and Spirits in Spring Hill, Tennessee. And I said, hold up. Thank you for that information, Tyler. And B, I know a good pal in Spring Hill, Tennessee. Actually, thank you, Callum. Actually, the best man at my wedding. Not into bourbon himself, but I said, Callum, head on over to Elixir Wine and Spirits. It's in your town. And he did just that. And Elixir was kind enough to sell me this bottle. So, out of this bottle here, only 90 bottles exist. So that's not the point. You probably didn't get this one at all. But the point is that 13th Colony is now putting out cash strength store picks, which they really haven't done before. So 13th Colony is a company that puts out that double oak bourbon that everyone's going crazy over. And no, I don't have one to compare tonight. Sorry. Someone send me a sample or a bottle if you have one. Uh, I do not. So you're not going to get that comparison tonight. So sorry. I'd love to have a bottle. Anyway, try to sample that. It's delicious. It's the hype that everyone says. It's there. Anyway. Besides that, they really hadn't put out a cash strength offering. But they are starting to do single barrel store picks of both the bourbon and the rye. So thank you, Elixir Spirits. Thank you, Tyler. And thank you, Callum, buddy, for uh, making us all come to fruition and delivering this bottle here so you guys can enjoy the review tonight and I can enjoy drinking it. Anyway, to get into the stats of why this is so great, let's talk about the age. 13 years. 13-year-old ride. I don't see that come along too often. Proof. Buckle up for this one. 149.3 proof. Compute, compute, 74.7% alcohol by volume. Rita, my God, put out the candles. We got, good Lord. <laughs> we can't have open flame anywhere near this high proof of a bourbon. You gotta go upstairs if you're gonna burn candles in the house. We can't have that down here. Notes inside, extremely flammable. Be careful, the fire is off tonight for safety on this channel. So that's all there is to say about that. <laughs> this is why I read upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one to put in. Yeah. All right, so before we dive into that deliciousness, which I'm sure you want to hear about. We don't. They do. Rita. <laughs> I did get just the regular 13th Colony, just their Southern Rye Whiskey. This one comes in at 95 proof. Compute, compute, 47.5% alcohol by volume. This is batch 2023, and it's like 35 bucks. So how's the $35? The bottle looks pretty dang similar. A lot of rye spice on the nose. It's a little sharp. It's a sharp rye on the nose. I get like nail polish remover. Lemon, if you will. Let's take a sip. It's got like a little bit of a tobacco note to it. It's kind of woody, uh, not in an old way. It's decent. For 35 bucks, yeah, grade C. Straight C on Bourbon Bill. Do I need a $35 rye on my shelf? No. Would I buy another $35 rye? No. Um, it's pretty good. These are actually finished in like French oak. So they put some French oak spirals or staves in it. What's that? Maker's Mark. You copying them? Um, it's good. I don't need this bottle and, and wouldn't buy another one though. But if, if you're in the 
the market for a $35 rye, you could do much worse. All right, now, what everyone really cares, look at the color. Look how dark this rye is. Look at that. When do you see a rye that dark? You don't. You don't. Now, there is a little discrepancy on 13th Colony. They are about 13 years old, so this could be their own distillate, but they say produced and bottled. Produce is kind of a slippery word, like escort instead of hooker, right? We don't really know if they distilled it. You know, produce is one of those slippery words, but it could, it could be their own. Produced and bottled in America's Georgia. So a Georgia rye here. But it is missing that word distill, which is a little weird. Let's give it a nosing. Good Lord! That's one of the best things I've smelled this year. Oh my God. Molasses. Maple. Raisins. Rye spice. A lot of oak, a lot of oak, sweet oak, barrel char even, fudgy chocolates. One of the best smelling ryes I've ever smelled. Let's take a sip. Good Lord, heaven help me, that's delicious. Oh my God. I, the finish keeps going. Tell you what, drinks way under proof. For being almost 150 proof, this drink's about 124, somewhere in that range. The most dense flavor I've ever had. This is like Koi Hill Rye. Um, there's like tobacco, sweet cigar box, molasses, dates, raisins, rye spice, maple. It's all there. It's all delicious. Um, in all honesty, this is this is the best rye I've ever tasted. Hands down. Price on these bad boys. Seal box was charging two hundo. Um, this one was like one eighty five, something like that. So they're expensive. Absolutely worth it. Uh, I would definitely buy another one if given the opportunity. Delicious. Now A plus 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 rating from Bourbon Bill. Absolutely a buy. Definitely back it up if you can. If you haven't heard of Thirteenth Colony, it's time to wake up. You know, the regular rye was alright back there. Uh, the cash strengths and the double oak is where it's at. And I know they're hard to get, but that's what you want to be buying. Okay. Now, that's not all for you lucky viewers. A couple supporters of the channel, Ken W. and Bob B. sent me some samples of the seal box releases of the 13th colony cash strengths so bob b thank you again sir for the 11 year cash strength rye from 13th colony coming in at 141 proof two years younger eight proof points less how good is it We got it right here in the sample bottle, and boy, these samples are dwindling because I couldn't keep my grubby little hands off of them. All right, this is Bob's from Sealbox 11 year cash strength rye from 13 Colony. Oh man, it's just like, smells like Koi Hill. It really does. Barrel char, like sweet barrel char. The molasses and maples and kind of raisin note are there. They're very similar, but there's almost like a cherry note developing on the 13 year that is not present on the 11. The 13 year is sweeter with an extra layer of flavor on the nose. Let's take a sip of the 11. Wow. Absolutely a stunner. If you got the seal box 11 year cash strength 13 colony rye, you're a winner. That is delicious. Doesn't quite have that deep cigar box tobacco and deeper maple flavor that I'm getting on here. Back to the 13 year. Yeah, yeah. Whoo! 13 year wins. It's a, it's a, it's a little bit deeper. 
It really is. Wow. It's developing like, it's definitely sweeter. It's developing more oak. It's developing like this like fruit cherry type prune note maybe on top of the 11 year. 13 year absolute winner. Now, because you're on Bourbon Bill's channel, that's not all. So Ken sent us a sample of the 13th Colony Cash Strength Bourbon. Now, not having a double oak, this is as close as we're going to get. This isn't double oaked, but color-wise, I don't know if you can tell, the bourbon right here is darker than the rye, and that rye is like black. This is one of the darkest bourbons I've ever seen. The stats on the seal box cash strength bourbon release are 10 years old, 138.64 proof. So not as high in proof, not as high in age. Let's give it a nosing. Oh my god. This actually does smell exactly like Coy Hill. Barrel char, way more fudge sickle. And like caramels and oaks kind of throughout. It, it is oakier than the rye. Very strong tobacco note on this. Bourbon. Oh man. Wow. If I had a bottle of the bourbon, it would definitely win bourbon of the year so far, I think. I just... Man, exactly on the nose. Exactly what I got in the palate. I mean, it is... Deep, dark, and rich. It's a lot of oak, a lot of tobacco, a lot of cigar box. A lot of chocolate. It's fantastic. A++++ on the bourbon as well. A real winner. I do got to say, though, that I think the 13-year rye beats both. It just, it's just got a little bit extra. I mean, those few extra years make a difference. I got to say, the, the rye is my favorite, the 13-year rye. And I just got to say, if you have been not understanding 13th Colony, it's time to get on the train to Flavorville, because that's where we are here. These are well-aged and very high-proof bourbons that drink under-proof and just the most intense flavor. So if you're not, if you're not a super, oh, bless you, Rita. You should raise my hand for that. Well, yeah, I saw it. If he's not an intense flavor person, they may not be for you. But if you like high proof and you like deep, dark flavors, they're all for you. Let that be known. So again, a lot of people made this video possible. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you, Ken. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Callum. That's the most people I've ever had to thank in a video, by the way. These are not easy to get a hold of. And thank you, Elixir, Wine and Spirits, for... Uh, let me have one of these very limited bottles. Um, if you're ever in Spring Hill, Tennessee, give them a stop. They obviously pick excellent store picks, and they have a lot of other ones available. So if you're in that area, stop on in. Now, I wouldn't leave you quite there, would I? I said multiple times throughout this video, tastes a little bit like Koi Hill. So why not give ourselves a refresher? This is dwindling. I, I love Koi Hill. If you are a sucker that never opened yours, donate it to me instead because Koi Hill is like one of the best things ever released. This one's 144.2, compute, compute, 72.10% alcohol by volume. Getting a little tame though since the air has been in here a while. And we're just going to give this a little, a little tasting compared to... Now, I know the one's awry, but we do have a bourbon in here. Coy Hill, by the way, was about nine years old. So, we're in the same year range as the bourbon. And, we're in the same proof range. Oh, man. Coy Hill is such a winner. It just... The most intense, sweet barrel char, sweet oak. It's like barrel char candy. Wow. Mmm. Love me some J.D. Coy Hill. Um, the Coy Hill splits the difference between the bourbon and the rye. Um, the 13 County bourbon 
does kind of have that barrel char type note but it's not nearly as sweet it's it's more dry it's more dry oak it's more tobacco it's more cigar box it's more a li little bit drying right koi hill is very sweet but overall that that heavy barrel char presence is there and like i said it splits the difference because the rye here the 13 county rye is so sweet yeah if you took out the rye spice out of the 13 county rye and left the sweetness you're at koi hill so if you like Koi Hill, couldn't get a Koi Hill, don't want to spend 400 and some dollars on secondary, make yourself a little 13th Colony Burr Rye. I'm not sure there's any way that any rye I purchased this year, no matter how good they are, will top this. If that gives away my top 10 ryes of the year, I'm sorry, but this is that good that good of a rye the bourbon over there is that good of a bourbon if i don't have a bottle so it won't it will not be included in my top 10 bourbons of the year but if i had a bottle don't see how that wouldn't place like top two at most for the bourbons um the 13th colony cash ranks are that good so if you like what we saw tonight please like comment and most importantly Hit that subscribe button, everyone. And remember, we do have Patreon now. So if you'd like to support the channel in that way, go ahead and sign up. Thanks. Have a good evening, everybody.